Got a six bristle brush. And as I've showed you before now, we've got to get this light coming through here so that it looks a little more dramatic. I really like the way this is looking in through here. But what we have to do now is come back up here. Don't be afraid. Now you take the white, maybe just a little smidgen of yellow, and you're going to start back up in here again. Now this is kind of scary, folks, but you're going to dry brush all through back in here now. Once again, you want to come across this area. See, we hit this once, but now we've got to hit it again. And this time, you're not going to just spread it so much, but you're going to go ahead and start putting in more of the rays that really stand out. And you glaze over these trees. See, I'm kind of softening over these. This is very, very important. I want you to kind of see this. See how this is all washed out in there and even this, it's coming over the trees. The trees look like they kind of almost have a mist over them. Well, that's not mist, it's not fog, it's sun rays. And so this whole top part right in here, frankly, may be, in, before it's over, almost completely disappeared. See, I'm, I'm just still putting it on there. See how thick I'm putting that on there? I'm not afraid to do that because I know it's the right thing to do for the effect that we're trying to achieve here. And I'm going to just dry brush quickly. You can't let it set. Or you'll get in trouble because it'll leave hard edges that you can't blend out. But see, if you get the sun rays in there, then that automatically tells people that th that is the sun coming through there, not a UFO there shining its light down on you. So get this these sun rays really implanted in here, if you want to call it that, until they just do everything they're supposed to do. And you just continue dry brushing a lot of this background out and so that sort of sets on back there a little bit. This paint's getting more involved.